Hi folks, welcome to the basement hoard. We got the whole snow thing going on out there. So I tried some donuts. My hands got cold, so I figured I'd spend a little time doing some of the machine work I need to do down here in the basement. Can you guys remember this donut that's been taking me forever? Well, what I'm doing now is I'm cutting the keyway into it. What I did was I got two just pieces of angle iron and you see that bolt going through there that makes sure that they're keyed together. So I had a bolt going through there. I put a vice grip on this side um, and I used this piece of metal to make sure I cut a nice straight line through it. Great. That's the best way to show you. And I made sure the line was nice and straight. Once again, using one side of this as a guide. You can see that side's a little chewed up. It's clamped on. So once I had the angle iron straight and I got this key and made sure it fit in there properly. Right. And the trick was, given that it is so long from here all the way to the other side there, that keeps you from, from going all cattywampus, right? You more or less have to go fairly straight back and forth. Then I took my hacksaw, I took the blades off, put it inside the donut, and went back and forth and got a lot of the material out of there. Then I finished it off with a file, right, just like that, and here's what we have. The one-handed man, right? Should push that in a little further. Anyway, you guys can see that the keyway fits nicely right through the donut. Now that I'm sure the keyway fits properly. I can take this all apart. I didn't want to take it apart ahead of time because um, I wasn't sure it was all going to behave. And once again, the keyway right in the slot. That's a Christmas clock. Plays a different tune for every hour. I picked it up for a dollar. So there you go. Now, as you guys recall, for the mule, what's going to happen is there's um, where the sprocket is put in right now. That's about a one inch shaft, just a tad smaller. So, um, and then it steps down to just a little bigger than a three quarter, which is where this is gonna go. There's a keyway cut in both. This is gonna slide right up that keyway, clamp right down to it. And then I'm gonna bolt this right to the sprocket in a couple of places. Now what that's gonna do just the fact that you have a couple of different things with keyways, I think that'll bind it to the shaft, so to speak, a little better, which is what I'm after. This will also keep it from the sprocket coming loose and sliding in and possibly damaging the case to the golf cart transaxle. Um, and quite honestly, I think this is going to hold everything in place better. It'll, once again, this will keep things from sliding in. If from here, 
I build up washers, a piece of pipe, whatever, and then you use the bolt on the end. It'll also keep this from sliding out. So between the two of them, I think that'll set up my, um, my drive to the mule transaxle real solid, real permanent, real um, something I don't, I don't have to worry about anymore. Once again, you can see more or less how I made these. I just made sure I was clamped tight. And then once again, I had this clamp to it. And then I just used this as a guide. And I very carefully went back and forth and kept testing it all along the length to make sure it was solid. It, it was, you know, the key way fit through. And then once again, once the donut, once I clamp the donut in, I have multiple blades there together. And I just ran this back and forth like a standard uh, broaching tool. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's easier ways to do it. I watched a video where a guy just put this in his lathe chuck and he got a bit, just the right size is that I think that's quarter inch and he just um, dragged the bit in and out and took off a few thousands at a time I uh, there was one guy who did it that way um, the right way to do it is you set up a broaching tool and I'm gonna exaggerate it just a little bit a broaching tool basically rather than going just straight up and down well the broaching tool goes straight up and down but the teeth each tooth sticks out just a little bit more and it's the equivalent of like tilting the blade so as you press it downward right this tooth takes off a thousandth the next tooth that comes down takes off another thousandth and on and on right um and then depending on the tool and the setup, some of them had the insert that, that goes in here that the back of the broaching tool is riding up against. Some of those had um, different uh, thicknesses of uh, slots in them, and some broaching tools had different thicknesses of broaching tools. Um, so you could, um, you could kind of set, and some of the, um, the insert that one in here once again with the slot in it had uh, adjusters on it. it it depends which one you bought um, and unfortunately most of this the, the, there was no Harbor Freight um, one that you could buy um, there was another guy also who um, who set up the thing with the slot and once again with Allen keys what he would do is set this up and force it through and then adjust it a little bit and force it through again just a little bit and force it through again and uh, each time he would take a little bit more off um, making a keyway typically is not a 30 second job this whole thing took me making this keyway and making the jig to make the keyway this took I don't know to between two and three hours and I can use this over and over again right now that I have the um, my broaching tool guide <laughs> my file guide right I, th I think that's a, a nice keyway too it looks nice and square um, it's plenty deep maybe a little too deep but once again as I tighten this screw down that'll um, make things straighter you can see I got the screw is in there a little crooked the um, keyway matches the screw pretty good, but they're both a tad crooked. But I think, uh, from a Harvey machine shop point of view, I think it will work. Um, some of you guys uh, actually do machine shop work as a hobby. Some of you guys actually are trained in this stuff. Um, my training in machine work was back when I was in high school. 40 plus years ago now it's probably been 42 years since I've uh, done any of this stuff so um, obviously I know what I want to do it's just a matter of figuring out how to do it 
um, machining has really become um, kind of a lost art and you could really buy a lot of this stuff pre-manufactured um, so I, I mean the good thing about that is it saves a lot of time and if it's a standard solution it saves some money the bad thing about that is once again you have less people doing this for a living I think if uh, you went to the local machine shop and said, hey, I want this donut and I want this to be, I don't know, what is it called, 78 thousandths or 0.78 inches, right, which is a little over. Um, if the guy had to start out with just a hunk of metal and make it, even if he was able to program his, uh, his lathe to do the work, um, you know, computer-aided design and it... it did everything automatically even if you uh, were able to do that um, you're paying for machine time if the guy has a manual lathe then you're play paying for his time right you either have to pay off the uh, I don't know probably quarter million dollar machine or you have to pay the guy some hourly rate 20 30 40 bucks an hour 50 bucks an hour whatever he wants to make this for you so I think no matter which way you twist it and turn it, this part, I'd be surprised if you, you can get it made for under a couple hundred dollars. So there you are. All right, folks, I really want to, um, by the way, uh, that's, a, that's a business possibility for some of you guys out there. I don't, I don't know how you would um, describe it. I don't know. I call this a donut. Um, but I, I don't know how you guys would uh, describe this type of stuff. But if you put it on eBay and you're able to get these out for, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 bucks, if you're really pretty good, maybe um, set up some stock in advance, right? Buy some standard stuff and know that you can uh, machine it out bigger. Um, there, might, there might be a business possibility in there. So something worth considering. Even making the keyways, right, that you'll broach a keyway into somebody's um, sprocket or pulley or whatever. Um, you guys could pay off some of your tools that way. Anyway, folks, I really want to thank you guys for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.